up haulers, Matt Fitch, I haul junk. Hope everybody is doing well. I am on my way into Cedar Park, Texas right now. One of our haulers, he uh, just scored a massive job. So I'm gonna go take a look at it and we're going to see what he has got. So he says it's his biggest job yet. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to see what he's got. Uh, this is an interesting situation. It's one of my haulers that has done a ton of jobs for iHaul. And we, you know, help him get established as, a, as his own junk removal business. And so he's getting jobs on his own outside of iHaul. He says he just got a $35,000 job. So <laughs> he, uh, I don't know if he needs a, a few extra chucks on the job. And so maybe we'll split the job or we might end up doing like a consulting deal where I'll just help him manage the job for just, you know, a, a flat rate. And uh, so right now I'm gonna go take a look at it and see what he's got. And we'll figure out what the best way for me to help him out is. Wow, <laughs> look at this guys. All right, this is definitely his biggest job. I've done a couple similar, so it's not gonna be my biggest job, but if we got this one for $35,000, then um, profit-wise, it might actually be one of our best jobs. So it looks like he did get the job locked in. It's $32,000 job though, and Instead of just a flat rate consulting, I am going to come in and we are going to tag team this thing together. So he's got his crew and then I've got other crews that I'm going to bring in to handle my share. And then after the expenses, we're just going to split the profit 50-50 on this one. So this is an awesome job. Yeah, this is a two acre property. It was used by squatters for a couple of years. They were doing drugs, partying. There's abandoned vehicles. There's heavy material. We got to tear down that structure. This is a monster job. So it looks like what happened was the owner, he was a retired vet and he just kind of fell off at the end of the last few years of his life. He started letting other people live there. They had a mobile home up against here. I guess it's not a stage. <laughs> I guess that was their back porch. So we're gonna have to remove all of those structures. The only thing that's gonna stay is the one structure up front that has the no trespassing sign, the shed, all the debris, everything's coming down and being removed. So this is not only a big job, but it's a really hazardous job. There's tons of heavy material. We're gonna get a couple loaders. We're gonna have a metal dumpster on site along with trash dumpsters and several trailers. <laughs> 